Jiu-Jitsu first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. He comes to his light, sporting solid white trunks. His record, one win against two defeats. He comes to us from Swansea, Massachusetts, and is known as the Gentle Savage. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Andrew. potentially be fight of the night these men this, want this. everybody is on their feet right now Boston boxing the intimate real passion of boxing fans and the place just got electric yeah, yeah it's absolutely. not the last time it will tonight but people are as we speak behind us people are pouring in from the outside yeah. getting ready for this everybody fight. knows that this may look just like another four rounder on paper but guys there's a lot of pride between these two fighters and this a lot a world title fight to them to the two camps to them and their coaches expect Tony to be off to a very quick start he is an incredibly awkward fighter and he throws a lot of punches a very awkward style Kyle's a lot more relaxed, much more in the pocket, but he's had trouble early on in his fights. He's lost a lot of early rounds. Yep. It takes a while for him to warm up. Tony's trying to capitalize on that. Cusick starting off, pumping out the jab a little bit as both guys tie up. Now I notice Tony went from southpaw now back to, to, to conventional, now back to southpaw. Yes, yeah, switching stances a lot in the beginning here. Absolutely unorthodox fighter. Tony's best punch is a crazy uppercut. Brings it with a ton of force, throws it from the floor. Kyle said he's prepared for that, and Kyle's looking to go to the body early like he just attempted right now. And I think it's a good idea for both guys, but especially Oh, Kyle. oh, Kyle with a nice hook there. Well timed. And I heard Chris mention earlier, Gray, that Kyle is saying he's in the best shape of his life. He looks it. This is the best I've ever seen him. He yeah, both, both these guys spent a lot of time in the gym, you can tell. Yeah, Kyle looks much better shape in his, his last fight. His body looks hotter than it normally does to me. He looks really well prepared. Yep. Now, Kyle has years of experience as an amateur. Um, he turned pro late in his career, and he's kind of showed a lot of flashes Andriazzi. of potential, but he's also had a lot of moments where he struggled. Andriazzi there getting Kyle on the ropes. And so far, that was been a Kyle round, but he just struggled there with the last exchange against ropes. I don't know if he caught it a left hand. His back was to me, I couldn't tell. Oh, nice shot again from Cusick. I think Andriotti wants to Andriazzi wants to make the sloppy oh. tie up and frustrate him. Yeah. But yeah, good good start from Kyle so far. Yeah, Kyle's team very composed, and the boxing will be the key to this, in my opinion. If he can stay away from one of those big shots, stay composed, stay on the jab, stay on the one-two, start going to the body, this is a fight that Kyle could win. And I'm looking at Kyle's eyes, guys, and he he is he he is cued in. I mean, he is absolutely I've this is the most focused I've ever seen him. Yeah. And at I, the same time, Tony has a look in his eye that he is here to hurt his opponent. Yeah, He's Tony smiling, and not, there's that uppercut we yeah, talked about. Tony's not playing around. No. He wants to get on the inside and, and really bulldoze him here. Yeah. Now, Chris, don't you think even in a four-round fight it'd be a good idea for both guys? Oh, oh. one, two! Tony oh. takes it and smiles! To invest in some body punching? Absolutely. Honestly, Tony looks a little soft downstairs. I think Kyle should be going down there left and right. He should be working down there as much Another as he can. Another right hand. Tony sticks his tongue out at him. Feed me more. Tony clearly doesn't respect the power, but the shots are still landing, and that's what wins the round, not sticking out your tongue. Tony, oh. though, coming right back at Kyle. And here we go. Both That's guys the fight fighting. Tony wants. That, this is exactly what Tony yeah. wants to do. He wants yeah. Kyle backing up as he headhunts him. Now, guys, that was a DE interesting sequence because oh, Kyle goes straight back like that. That's when he's having trouble. That was a, a very competitive round. Yeah, and it was nice to see them acknowledge each other in a friendly way after the round. They do respect each other. We don't want the viewer to think that there's hatred there, no. but there's definitely pride. These Just, guys, you know, have, yeah, I want to say it. These guys definitely have respect other. for each other. Yeah. Like you said, the bragging rights aspect. Unbelievable, yeah. Now, um, again, Tony looks a little, Tony looks a little soft. 
And uh, I think Kyle needs to invest in that body. There was a real lack of body shots in that round. I see some force, form, and energy in the, in the Andreazzi corner standing in between rounds. Standing. Two great corners, and that's one of the exciting things, too, when you're seeing two fighters that are getting yep. real quality instructions. Sometimes you sort of know that that fighter's probably not hearing what he needs. I guarantee you both fighters are given a plan need. what to work on in the second round. All right, here we go. Round two coming up of four. Very, very uh, exciting round number one. And as I said, the, when you see these two guys in the ring, they usually bring excitement with them. So It seems like Tony really didn't respect Kyle's power. But, no. but, but when the shot lands, it doesn't matter. It's boxing. That's how you win the round. And I give Kyle the edge on that first round. I was just going to say, I just mocked my score card, and I gave Kyle a slight edge in that round, too. I, it's my first time seeing Tony fight, and uh, I, I, I will say he's definitely fearless. He, yeah. he, will, he wants to trade, yeah. and I think it's Kyla is trying to really pick his spots here while Tony is like, hey, I'm going to hit you and bulldoze you. Only thing I would like to see Tony do, guys, he's getting low, trying to get under Kyle. That might be a smart idea, but on ooh, nice, I'd like nice. to see him establish One, two, that jab. Yeah. He's just kind of shooting the shots, not off the jab. I, I think regardless, if either man goes to the body, he's going to have some success with that. I mean, I think there's a lot of opportunity to go to the body. Both guys look tired. It's a tense fight, and those body shots really come into play in the third, fourth round. Absolutely. It's like taking air out of a tire. Nice body shot by Kyle. Oh, he Kyle goes straight back, there. and he gets hit. And then Tony comes right back. This has been a better round for Tony so far. Absolutely. But well, that was a great exchange. Around. Kyle landed one body shot. Tony came back with two big head shots. like to see Kyle straighten that right hand yeah. out. That was a sloppy shot. There was an opportunity to land a shot there, and he got greedy. He's got to stay nice and focused. Tony talking to Kyle <laughs> and lands a one-two. <laughs> oh, both oh, men oh, oh, man with landing, big shots. Tony just loves the action, huh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What a, what a fun fighter. Tony loves, to, Tony loves to throw down. He yeah. doesn't mind getting hit. you yeah. got to love it. Kyle stand very composed, all things considered. Oh, but oh, he, he wobbled caught. Kyle there. I don't know if that was an off balance. Uh, he was off balance or but what. But it was but a Kyle shot. Retreated. It was a shot. He did yeah. retreat. And guys, you noticed Kyle really held there, so I think he was. He did get stung. Yeah, absolutely. This is a much His better round. His legs still don't look 100 percent right. <laughs> the swagger from young Tony. Kyle staying composed. He's not biting. He's not falling for it, though. He's not getting pulled into a street fight just yet. No, he's not. But yeah. I'll tell you something, Chris. If he allows, if he allows Tony to stand back with his hands down and dictate the pace instead of putting something like a jab in his mm. face or just put some, giving him something to look at, I think it's going to be a, a long night for him. Yeah, and and there's that uppercut he's looking to hit, and it's also a bad look for the judges. 100 percent. Both men tied up on the ropes. And Chris, I can't emphasize enough how much Kyle should be going to that body on Tony. Yeah. Oh, I think Kyle. Kyle, yeah, I, like I said, Kyle spent too much of this round covering up. Tony's the one with the aggression. Tony's the one backing Kyle up. Visually, you like that as a judge. Yeah, this has been a great Tony round. Yeah. Uh, I think we're. I think it's evened it up on the scorecards. Yeah, much I think we have an even fight here, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens next, guys. And Tony has the momentum right now, in my opinion. Kyle's going to have to do something to kind of stem that momentum. Yeah. Well, he's got to get back to boxing. Yeah. You know, he's got to he's got to start firing that jab, keeping yep. that aggressive Tony off. Hit your shots, move. Hit your shots, move. No Absolutely need to get lulled Chris. into a fight here. And I think when he's punching straight, he was doing pretty good. Getting into this wide waiting game and then punching wide yeah. is not is not the best approach yeah. for Kyle Cusick. And again, for 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 the yeah. for the. For the life of me, I can't understand why either guy, but especially Kyle, is, is not is going downstairs. To the body. This is a fight on either side. A well-timed body shot could end the fight. Absolutely. Yes. You know, the, the, these aren't defined bodies, for lack of a better word. You know, Aaron Bernardo is very excited, though. He knows that uh, Tony has won that round. He thinks that Kyle has nothing on his punches. He's got his man fired up. And uh, I think he senses that Tony has momentum. Yeah. All right, we're going into round three. Hope you're enjoying this fight between Kyle Kiesick and Tony Andriazzi. Uh, Boston Boxing Promotions live on Combat Sports now. We appreciate if you bought this pay-per-view, you're watching along with us. Yeah. Ooh. Kyle's composure impresses me here, though. He's seemed to calm himself down since yep. last round. 
Yeah, he's, he's got it. He's got to commit to get backing him up, though. Nice shot there Absolutely by Andrew Yazzi. Andrew Yazzi getting you in and getting out. Can't give him help. time like that. Mm -hmm. Sit back and smile and wait. Mm -hmm. Can't wait on him. There, yeah, that's yeah, exactly what body he shot. Do. This is Beautiful how he's going to win the fight. Shot. I see Bernardo employing uh, Tony to keep his distance. Yeah. And you can smile all you want when you get hit in the body, but my God, it's just not a fun feeling. There was one of those sneaky uppercuts, but apparently it was when the referee said break. Kyle seems to be running in, though. He should be working in. He seems Absolutely. to almost be lunging in and, uh, you know. Rushing. Yeah. He's rushing in. Both fighters tying up, a bit of a sloppy uh, sequence here. <laughs> I don't know, was, was that a reach around the uppercut there, Sean? You don't see that. <laughs> I don't know, I, you know, like, he I bypassed was, his other <laughs> arm and fired yeah, an uppercut. Fired well, from the strangest yeah. angles. Kevin Hope's going to let you fight out of that clinch, yeah, yeah. I will say. He's not too uh, quick uh, to break it up. Guys, I hear some of Tony's people yelling that, that Kyle is tied, but I think both guys are about yeah. equally... Yeah, they a both they both look fatigued. There's a lot, a lot, of, There's a lot, lot of holding, a lot of yeah. holding this round. Yeah. Uh, I don't really but, see anything that's separating the two fighters. But I think right there's now. so much tension to this fight that that creates extra stress and extra in the ring fatigue. You Perfectly know? said, Chris. Kyle's got a head right down the middle. Nice oh. one too there from Andrew Ozzy. His best shot of the round. And Kyle was well lined up. Time. For this. And Kyle. Oh. Kyle oh. Hurt. He tied him up and hit him on the side of the head. Uh, Hope comes in and breaks it up, but I think Kyle is buzzed. And if I'm Andrew Ozzy, I think he might take a chance here, test that chin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think Kyle definitely felt that one. And let me tell you, that might have won Andrew Ozzy, might win Andrew Ozzy the round here. Oh, I think it swung in in, in, in Tony's favor. Yeah, and absolutely. Both men breathing really heavy, though. Again, though, Chris, back to where we said, what would a good, well placed body shot from either guy do? Yeah. It could turn this, it could turn everything around or end it. Just one well placed body shot. I think Kyle needs to get back on some basic combinations. One, two, three to the body. One, two, three to the body. Keep it nice and simple. You know, Tony's open for a Tony, lot of shots. Tony's open, but yeah. I'll say this about Tony. He's 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 boxing and he's moving and he's he's switching his tactics. We, and he's putting his hands down to yeah. throw a little yeah. risky. But, uh, he seems I, to be very confident right now. Yeah, he is very confident. feels very relaxed in there. And you can tell there's a game plan being implemented, I, and I think they're very happy with how things are going right now. I think I really feel as if Tony's just not respecting Kyle's power, no. and I think he feels like he can walk through the shots and take chances. If he was a little scared of walking into a right hand, he would probably be a little less likely to fire in like that. So I have a, I think Tony's up 2-1 right now. Uh, I think that round could I think he swung the round after a very slow start from both guys. I think this is very, very clearly a 2-1 Tony fight. I think Kyle is now fighting for the draw. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely, and I'd say the round we thought Kyle won was closer and more competitive than the two we gave to Tony. Yeah, I mean, you're, exactly. Tony could be sh pitching a shutout now, right now. We for have to we keep in mind, gentlemen, in Kyle's last fight, he was bloodied, he was cut, he was down on the cards, and what did he do in the fourth round? He dropped his opponent, opponent. Yes, to win sir. a majority decision. Yeah, yes, Kyle Kuzik has been known to dig deep. He's got a big heart. That's true. You're referencing his win over Eddie Gates on Thanksgiving Eve. Oh, right and here. a hug to start the Both round. Both guys giving each other a hug. There's respect there. Again, yeah. I think a lot of this beef is between the camps, uh, but the two fighters and, and a lot they're of friends and fans. Yeah, they're you friends know, and fans. Exactly. Know. It's fun to have that beef, but these men respect each uh, other. They've been in a war already. I think everyone will shake hands at the end of the day. This is about uh, you know pride. A little chatter at the gym, but yeah, these I guys hope, are putting it all on the I line. I hope Kusik's corner told him he must win this round. Sometimes there's not enough urgency out of trainers in the yes. last round, Sean, and he absolutely needs this round, whether to win or to save the fight with this a draw. This is a game of math, guys. It's a shame to four rounds. It's about the corner, which I'm sure Libby and these guys and the fighter being honest with himself. I think Kyle has a pretty good idea that he has to score a knockdown to win this round to get a draw and he needs to score a knockdown I think to uppercut in the clinch there by Andrew Ozzy. the oh. hands need to go Sean the hands need to go I tell you I, I, I think that Kevin Hope's refereeing benefits Andrew Ozzy more because <laughs> he doesn't he lets them go on the inside and Tony yeah. Tony does not mind roughing them yeah. uh, roughing up Cusick and then Tony embracing his inner Ray Windmill White throwing uppercuts from behind <laughs> the back yeah, yeah I, I now there's the double jab that we've been looking for Sean yeah, he'd be doing that all night I think yeah. it might be a much more competitive fight yeah. I think Kyle right now is one punch at a time Tony's throwing Chloe's throwing one twos Kyle's letting himself get wrapped up. He's getting, I think he's a bit frustrated yeah. in there, guys. 
Oh, he just got caught. He did. Right he got high caught on the head with that right hook. I think, uh, I think the fatigue is really starting to set in for Kyle here. We're seeing less punches coming uh, output here. It's, it seems like the benefit of Tony being the younger man is paying off a little bit. It seems like he has some more gas in the tank. I was just going to say, Chris, if there was one thing that I thought separated him, I would say is the speed, and that goes to the younger fighter yeah. often, yeah. more times than not. I think Kyle's absolutely the better boxer, more tactical boxer, but I feel like the youth is, sound, yeah, is, is, is overwhelming him a little bit. I, yeah, as I say, it's not the prettiest style, but Tony's style right now is working Hands behind the back. He just, he's, he is, it's a, he's playing a lot of games with Kyle right now, yeah. really trying to throw him off mentally. And I noticed, guys, Tony's having an easier time pulling the trigger than Kyle. I feel like Kyle's looking for one shot, and that's not how this is going to go. No, you can't, I think that's exactly what he's you doing. You can't Chris. win around with that without that little output. And he like I said, has to put some combinations together. You know, he's going to have success on the second or third shot of a combination. Yes, yeah. and in the first round, that was often what it was—the second and the third shot that we was having success with. A little, little bit of blood. blood. I was say, a little bit of blood in the nose and mouth of Tony. I and think all I, guys, I think, and I think all guys are kind of cracking yeah, up yeah, right yeah. now. Uh, yeah, I mean, just the lack of respect. Nice though. time shot. Just said Tony is just timing these shots from behind his hand, behind the back. Kyle's waiting, 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 and uh, it's just not going to get the job done. Nope. This fight is almost over. Yeah, and now he's getting out jabbed, and that just can't happen. Kyle's got to go for broke here. Yeah, he's got to let him right go. Yeah, the here. That's it. End of four it. rounds, and I think, uh, in my card at the very least, I think Tony Andriazzi has won this fight pretty clearly, 39-37. Yeah. They're pretty hyped up in that corner. I think but, across yeah. the boards with that, I agree yeah. 100%. Yeah. I think it's a pretty clear decision, a three-to-one type fight. I know Kyle absolutely has to be disappointed in his performance. Yeah, he, we, you know, Kyle, we all love Kyle. He's a great friend of ours. He's great a guy. wonderful guy. And, yeah. But, yeah, tonight I think he was just a little bit uh, outworked, uh, clearly, by Tony Andriazzi. Just a little slow to the draw. Yeah. It seemed like he just had trouble getting to him, and, you know. It's like he was having a hard time pulling the trigger, right? Yeah, hard time pulling the trigger. And he was in great shape. Both men were obviously in great shape. But it seems like Tony had a little more in the tank at the end of the fight. I'll you know? say the General Savage was far from gentle in that ring tonight, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> Tony, yeah, Tony Tony went from uh, fighting a lot in the inside in round one, and then he moved, moved, moved a little more movement in rounds two through four, and that really worked for him. You got the feeling when he felt that Kyle couldn't hurt him, he started to take a lot of chances and started to get a lot more aggressive. That's a very good point. I, it was like he got comfortable at some point, and when that happened, he it turned in the second round, and it was really no looking back. Yeah. Yeah, when a guy starts putting his hands behind his back, you just start touching him. You know, he's just like, hey, we're just going to get touched, buddy, if you're not going to defend yourself. And I'll say, uh, you know, that, that these guys that come from this punishment striking systems gym, they may not always be the most, uh, you know, experienced, mm. skilled guys, but these guys come to fight. They yeah. give 110%. And you got to give credit to Aaron Bernardo. I mean, that's a big win yeah, for him. That, I if mean, this, he's, if, if it, yeah, we'll see how the scorecards look, yeah. but absolutely, like, a lot of credibility for him oh. if he pulled this off. Yeah. Against his, uh, uh, you know, former and a charge. hug for the and old a hug trainer. For both guys. Yeah. There's respect there at the end of the day. The bottom line is everybody in that ring is a wonderful person. Yes, sir. Let's go to Pete Zimbor for the scores.